Okay, this is Jimmy Breeze. We are getting ready to do a cold start on the 1977 Corvette. We are going to log the uh, performance and what it takes for the choke system to operate on this Quadrajet carburetor. One throttle, release, half. This Corvette sat for years in the collector. When I bought it, it would start, it would run, but you could not drive it unless it was up to full operating temperature. We're talking the thermostat is open and a car has been running for five to 10 minutes. When you put the car in gear and apply the throttle, there is off idle stumble, a hesitation, a bog. All the emissions equipment is still in place on this car. So how did I get this car to drive after three and a half minutes of start and idling? I increased the fuel mileage by four miles per gallon. and I eliminated all the off-idle hesitation. Tune-up. I started with ignition cap, rotor, plugs. I found the timing off four degrees. I set the curb idle mixture on the carburetor. Vacuum leaks. I found vacuum leaks on the hose ends, manifold fittings, vacuum leaks on the carburetor base and the carburetor top plate. And I still have one leak now on the EGR valve gasket, so that's why it's disconnected. So I had to study the choke operation because I know it wasn't right. I recommend getting the numbers off your carburetor, doing some research on it and find out exactly what you have. I found manuals online that would go through the whole rebuild procedure but also the choke adjustment procedures and the bench procedures. So I set this carburetor back to bench specs. That was my baseline. That's where I was going to start from. And it created a cold start log for every day I started the car. First I noted the adjustments that I had from baseline where I was starting at, namely the thermostatic choke coil cover, fast idle, and choke brake. I'd log down the lapse time running, RPMs, and any observation notes that would help me. A procedure that I ran down every time I started the car. After the several week process of starting the car cold and running it and noting it on the log. So now I'm able to start the car in about three and a half minutes I'm ready to drive. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is go for a test ride and I will get some fuel and I will check the miles per gallon. So we'll sign off and we'll come back in a little bit. Let's go to the cabin and eat.
All right, I just put 6.29 gallons of fuel in the uh, vehicle, and I've driven 93 miles, um, so it gives me 14.79 miles per gallon. So after all the work I've done, um, achieved 14.79 miles per gallon. I started out with about 10 and a half, a little tweaking to get to 12 and a half. Now here I am at 14.79. So I think one of the biggest things I did to correct the hesitation was the vacuum leaks. So it's a lesson learned again. Hit all the hoses, but also the base of the carburetor and the carburetor itself, top plates. Make sure everything's sealed up good as you can. Double check all your vacuum lines. The second thing was to know what I was dealing with. 4MC Quadrajet carburetor. So I had to know exactly what I was dealing with went and found the tune-up uh, specifications for that and a manual online. I was able to read about it, learn how the choke operation worked, learn how to tune the carburetor up. And from then I just kept a log on what I was doing and how I was adjusting and what seemed to work and what didn't work. So we're good to go. like the video if it helped you out if you kind of got you started i love to hear your comments let's talk about what what we did wrong what we did right and how you would have tackled it or your experiences and feel free to subscribe to the jimmy breeze youtube channel hit the bell and get all the notifications for the next video when it comes out jimmy breeze signing off